Hey guys, it's me Kevin and today I'm making a very quick A-League video. Uh, this time on what the fixture should look like if the A-League restarts. Now, the A-League was suspended uh, after the match between Newcastle and Melbourne City, which ironically a player tested positive to COVID-19. Um, so the season has been suspended and it won't resume until at the very earliest, the 22nd of April, but I think it could go over for longer. Now, I was thinking, uh, the latest they could start the season, restart the season, is July for it to end mid-August. That gives it a uh, two-and-a-half-month off-season, which in soccer terms I think would be enough uh, before the season would start in November, which I know I'm bringing it, delaying the start by three weeks there, but, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's a three-week difference, and I'll probably go into June next year. Uh, or July, depending on how many games there are. And the other thing to uh, think of, will MacArthur be in the A-League next year, or will he have another season with just the 11 teams? So, the fixture is a four-week fixture, uh, which goes through weekends and weekdays, uh, throughout a four-week period. I try to minimise the amount of travelling um, as possible, uh, most teams, they stay in one location, play a few games there, then go back to another location. That's how I've tried to make it for most um, of the um, season. Now, uh, Wellington Phoenix is the tough one if they um, restart because we're not sure uh, it'll probably take longer for it to uh, for their borders to open for Australians without having to go on a two-week isolation as it, it, it'd be easier for state borders to open it up again compared to uh, international borders. So potentially Wellington might have to play the rest of the season in Sydney, which they were happy to do so before the shutdown occurred. So I'm just gonna run by the fixture very quickly and uh, enjoy. <laughs> After that, I've got three options for how the final series would run. Uh, you could have uh, uh, just the semi-finals and the grand final, with the semi-finals the weekend after week four and the grand final the week after that. You could have the elimination finals um, during the week and after week four, and then that immediate weekend would be the semi-finals, and then the next week would be the grand final, uh, or or even you could potentially have uh, elimination on the weekend, then semi in the weekday, the grand final on the weekend. Or the third option is you have all three of them just on the weekend. I would personally opt uh, the first option, honestly, because it's, let's face it, top four teams survive. They're the best teams, and the rest of them should just pack their bags for the season and return back in November. Because let's face it, you're trying to get the best teams to play in the final series, fifth and sixth. Are they really necessary? Uh, we're not exactly sure about that. So I would say uh, top four uh, in a condensed format. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to get a video up on this channel as soon as possible. Please subscribe. Please uh, hit a thumbs up on this video. Comment what you think down below about this whole coronavirus uh, blowout and see, and comment your opinion on whether the A-League or any other sport in general restart and how if it does and the future of the a league i'm going to be getting into the future of the afl nrl and a league uh soon in another video um check out the rest of the channel and as always i'll see you next week bye